There is one murder charge down for trial in the January assizes. It features Kester Williams, who was charged for causing the death of his employer, Anthony Moraine, of Moraine's Auto Shop in 2008. The matter of Akeem Frank, who is charged with non-capital murder in the death of Canadian citizen Nia Veno in December 2015, is also scheduled for hearing. There are six other cases with charges of non-capital murder, including that of Joshua Mitchell, who was charged in the death of his 84-year-old grandmother in 2014. Crown Counsel Brandon Natouche gave an overview of the matters done for trial during a telephone interview. Of a total of 142 cases done for trial. Um, out of that, we have had 122. 20, which were travels from the last exercise of September 2016, um, 22 new cases added to that list. Um, dominating um, sexual offences, as has been the case in the previous exercises, of the 142, 63 are sexual offences. There are several matters related to possession of a controlled drug, causing grievous harm and arson. A perusal of the list also reveals an increase in the number of cases related to theft. We see, so we see now, um, a rise in the stealing offences. So that will include um, stealing berries of employment, fraudulent appropriating of um, property, and so on. Those there has been concern about how long it takes for cases to be processed through the court. Mr. Latouche is confident that there will be final closure to a number of matters during the new term. Um, well, yeah, we do have a number of cases on the list that are what we would say um, ripe for plea. Um, that would be in court cases where persons, uh, the accused persons, would have given. Uh, caution statement or record of interview admitting to either um, part or in full to the charges on the indictment. So we have a number of cases like that. Um, of course, um, whether or not they do intend to take that course is entirely up to them on, upon advice from counsel. Sessions of the High Court are conducted in what was the Cable and Wireless main office on H.A. Blay Street and the Carinage waterfront. Joseph McKee-Smith, GBN News.